there, I'm going to show you how to get an embroidery design onto fabric using your Cricut Maker and going from this to this, a finished, completed embroidery design. I have over 500 sewing and quilting tutorials, so please subscribe. I have so many helpful and easy how-to sewing and quilting tutorials on my channel. I am not paid nor sponsored to create this video. I will be placing a link to my Amazon store so you will know how to find this product and I may get a small commission if you decide to buy that. So up front, there you go. This product is perfect if you like to do embroidery, but it's not only just about doing embroidery. You can also do um, a free motion quilting design using this and it'll help you do free motion embroidery if or free motion quilting if you're not very good at it. So basically it comes with, does it say how many sheets it comes with? 12. It comes with 12 sheets. I didn't use all of this section, so I'll be able to use it again. And basically you can run this through your printer or what I'm going to do is run it through the Cricut. So I'm going to get the Cricut to draw the design. The design is not mine. The design is from the Cricut um, design space. So let's see how to go about doing this. I am not going to use a full sheet because I don't need to do that. I'm going to use a tiny cut from the one that I used the other day. So I'm going to take this. So there's a like a fabric side. Well, it feels like a fabric side, but it's not. It's a water soluble stabilizer with an adhesive on the back. So you're going to do it so it's fabric side up and then the paper side is going to be down because this is an adhesive so this is the part that we're going to actually physically draw on and then you're going to use your light grip mat now i like to put this in the center and and move my design over to where i want it to be on this particular part of this product and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick it down a little bit with some painter's tape you want this to be on Cricut's light grip mat because it's got paper on the other side if you do it on the fabric mat it's going to peel the paper off and that is not the result we want so i just like to just stick it down with a little bit of paper's tape so it definitely will not pop up and move but then I want the ability to take it off easily so that should be fine for what we need to do these are the pens that I use and it really doesn't matter what color that you choose I didn't want to go with a black so I just went with a gray pen these are Cricut pens and then the nib looks like this it looks like it's not going to do it but it actually does it perfectly absolutely perfectly so let's see how to do this this is my cricket home page this is how you find me under my name cassie cartmel this is the design it's called plant embroidery transfer for sewing projects this is not my design i did not draw this this was um, a cricket design space however if you are versed in using procreate which is a digital design software program you could easily come up with something like this no problem and bring it into the cricket as a design um, so what we are going to do is we're going to click on make it from here then it's going to load up. I'm going to, have to turn my Cricut on. If you don't turn your Cricut on, it will not go to this next stage and it'll be trying to find your Cricut maker. So turn your Cricut on. Then you will click on, on mats. You're going to click on 12 by 12 and you're going to confirm. Like I said, this needs to be on the light grip mat. Now, I need to move this design over to where my design is on the paper here so i need to move it. it needs to be below one inch and it needs to be in between three and eight which it is and i'm going to have it about you kind of want a little bit above the design as well because you don't want to be too close to the edge of the product you want a bit of wiggle room there um, for when you apply it onto the next stage onto the fabric and i'm going to click continue
Now the next part is going to be asking you what it's actually working on. So I'm not quite sure if this makes any difference or not, like how much pressure it applies to the pen, to the fabric. But just in case, I do click on the fabric setting for cotton. I don't need to worry about the pressure. And it's going to tell me to load. I, I don't think I changed the color of the pen. So it's basically telling me to load the midnight color on a 0.4 pen. And these are the 0.4s that I showed you. So we are ready to go. We're going to be able to load the mat. So I am going to show you how I load the pen and I'm going to show you how it draws it out because I think it's kind of cool. Okay, so here is the Cricut. We're going to take the pen and we're going to put the pen in here and it just clicks and you lock it in. You place the mat in. Wait for the Cricut button and there it goes and then you can press the Cricut button. Once you do that you can press the C and it'll start to draw the design. So like I said this is a Cricut design, I did not do this design and if you were to draw out your own design on Procreate or something like that, then that would work too. It's going to draw all this design out for me. It's really quick. And I don't care about this showing up like this because we stitch over it and you really aren't going to see this grey anyway. So you may as well do it on a darker colour and then it just makes things easier for when you're actually stitching it out. Doesn't take long. Now it's just going to do the bottom of this embroidery design. there you go it's done so let's stick this now onto fabric one thing you don't do is leave your pen in your machine take the pen out and put the cap on and put it away because you don't want the pen to dry out so i am just going to peel this off it comes off nicely because it's on that light grip mat make sure your fabric isn't creased we're going to press this once our fabric is pressed, we are going to peel off the sheet to reveal that adhesive layer. So it's all sticky on the back of here. And then basically you're just going to adhere it to your fabric. You don't want to put it too close to the edge of the corners because you want to be able to hoop this so just keep it nice and central to your fabric and then you're going to embroider it so you're going to end up with something like this but you're still going to have this attached to it and you don't press it you don't iron it or anything it's adhesive is sticky enough so basically you would obviously this is all going to be stitched around like this and you're going to have to get rid of all of this in between here what I did was peel away some of this section here, cut it all the way so it was short, all the way around here. Then I got a spray bottle and sprayed it with water. You don't need to submerge it at all. And what happens is all the glue starts to come away. You scrape it a little and you move it out of the way and it ends up looking like this which is a perfect embroidery design. Now how simple is that? Doing embroidery on your Cricut. Did you know about that? Have you thought about this? Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I have over 500 quilting and sewing tutorials. Just like this one. Super helpful and super easy to follow. And I'll see you in the next video.